Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this tutorial, we're gonna have a look at how we create perfect straight and curved lines in Adobe Photoshop. So we'll start with the straight lines and just kind of have a look at how we do that. So we're gonna be using the brush tool to do this. The reason for that is to be able to create some nice texture and that type of thing. The brush tool works really nicely, and we'll mix that up with the eraser tool. So we're gonna come down to our brush tool on the left here, and basically to create a nice straight line, super simple, we're gonna click once here, and then hold down shift, and then click at the end of that line. You can see it's basically gonna create a straight line from point to point. So if we step back, we're just gonna zoom right in and move up to this handlebar. So we're gonna sketch out some nice lines here. I'm gonna reduce the size of my brush. Now, for my brush here, I'm using an opacity of 50%, and the reason for that is that when we then kind of draw along here, it's gonna build up that texture of the brush. So I'm gonna use the left square bracket to make my brush a bit smaller and I'm gonna click once here and then hold shift and just click at the end there and you can see we get that nice line, make my brush a bit smaller, click once, hold shift and click at the end and you can see nicely we can create a nice sketchy line along there. So we'll do the same here, get a smaller brush to start with and then just draw from point to point, just building up that sketchiness of the line, we can probably add in some hand-drawn lines along there as well. And then I like to mix this with the eraser when I'm working. So if we zoom right in here, just gonna move to the right here. We're gonna grab the erase tool. Shortcut for the erase tool is E. And I am using from my eraser options up here, the Kyle's Eraser Natural Edge. So what that means is when we erase here, so this little bumpy line, it's gonna add a little bit of texture there. And it's pixelated because we're zoomed in at 500%, but when we actually view this line at 100%, it's gonna look super crisp and nice to kind of see and work with. So you can see that nice easy way using the brush to create a straight line anywhere in Adobe Photoshop. Just click once, hold shift, and click again. And then the erase tool we can use to erase. Now with the erase tool as well, I also like to use a bit of opacity in my brush. So I'll hit four here, but I've got the eraser selected and you can see that sends my opacity to 40%. And that means I can erase those lines gradually. So you can see here that 40% opacity is meaning that I'm gradually getting rid of those lines rather than completely. So I can kind of add a bit more texture in there as well. If I hit 80 here, it's gonna almost erase these lines, but I wanna leave a little bit of a shadow of these lines that I've drawn up there. So the next step is how do we create a nice kind of curved line? So I'm gonna come across to my ellipse tool here and we're gonna select that. And the key to this is that we're gonna use, instead of a shape up at the top, we're gonna to use a path as our option here. So basically when we first draw with this, it's not actually gonna create anything but this blue path. And we can modify this and kind of position it along the end of these handles, we can even rotate it a little bit to get it to fit nicely along that curved edge. And then to draw with this, we're gonna to come to our paths, keep the work path highlighted, and then we're gonna jump back to our brush tool and we can use this button down at the bottom to stroke along that path. Now what's nice here is to kind of keep a little bit of randomness as you're building up the line. So I'm gonna to come to my path selection tool down here and we're just gonna nudge this a little bit, come back to our path stroke, again, press B to grab the brush tool, and we'll just jump between those a couple of times. So I'm just pressing A and B to gradually stroke along that path. So I'll just move this again a little bit up, and you can see that opacity is nicely allowing that line to build up as if we'd kind of scribbled around that shape a few times. I'll delete this work path now so we can see what we're seeing and you can see we're getting that nice kind of sketchy look there in Photoshop. So we can just turn off our background image here and you can see we're kind of nicely building up those lines with the eraser, those sketchy lines. We can obviously draw along them again and using that opacity, we can just kind of gradually build up this sketch. Sometimes when you're drawing lines in a certain direction, you'll find that it's harder to draw it in one direction than it is to move your mouse quickly in another direction. And another neat tip for this is to use the rotation tool. So I'm just gonna press R to allow me to rotate to that angle 
that I find easy to kind of drag quickly along the screen. And now you can see when I'm drawing on that line, I'm able to, with a little bit of practice, get some nice sketchy lines that are following that line. And then I can erase the ones I don't want. And again, we're kind of gradually erasing these. So I'm just pressing four and then seven, and it's adjusting the opacity of that eraser so that I'm leaving a little bit of texture in there every time I erase a little bit. So if I do command on one, you can see now we're ending up with that nice kind of sketchy line and it's gonna look nice when we're actually at 100% here in Adobe Photoshop. So again, with this line, if we bring up our background image, you can see we can just kind of move along here, erase some bits of the line, maybe even rotate it and zoom in a bit, grab our brush tool and add in some other extra bits of that line just to add to that sketchiness, to add a little bit to the depth. So there's another way of creating smooth curved lines in Photoshop, uh, similar to the ellipse tool, and that is by using the pen tool. So with the pen tool selected, I'm gonna make sure I've got path selected up here. And what I'm gonna do is draw a line along these handlebars. So I'm gonna click once here, and click and hold once here, click and hold once at the bottom, once across here, and then once here. And with the direct selection tool, which is just below the path selection tool, I can come in and modify some of these curves so they kind of match that line a bit better. So I can adjust these so we get a better match to that curve at the top of the handlebars. I'm not looking for perfection here, but that is looking pretty decent for what I need. So once that's done, I can come to my paths here. I can grab my brush tool again, and then I can use the stroke on path button here, and it's gonna stroke along that path. I can move from the direct selection tool to the path selection tool, move this just a little bit, and then again, jump back to the brush by pressing B, and just sketch again, and then tap A, move that a little bit again, press B, and we'll be able to sketch that line out nicely. We could even see if this line will match the bottom bit of this in any parts. Looks good on the left there, not so good on the right. So I'm just gonna grab my eraser, erase that bit, grab my path selection tool, so A, and we'll move this along to here and we might need to rotate this a little bit. So just Command and T will allow you to transform that. We can get that in a better position here across on the right, and then we'll hit Enter and press B again, and now we can stroke that path here along on the right, and then just erase the bits of the path that we don't want across on the left there and on the right and those kind of little shadows or lines are just gonna to add to the, the texture and sketchiness of this. So I'm not really too worried that we have those there. Again, we'll nudge this a little bit, just move it across, grab the brush tool, do another sketchy line, and then I'll delete this. And this can just give you a good foundation for some of those harder to draw angles that you sometimes trying to get. So we can delete all this in the middle here doesn't really follow the line of what we need to do, but if you imagine you were sketching it for real, you would have these kind of erased lines there. So you're, in a sense, making it look like a bit more of a realistic sketch by leaving some little remnants of those, those lines that you've drawn. And again, we can come back to the brush tool, kind of start to sketch in some of this a bit more, and that is gonna look pretty nice once we start to work in some of this detail, working with the eraser tool, using the rotation tool, so tapping R to use the rotation, getting in some of that detail where we want it, and using a mixture of the line option that we had, so holding down shift, and then also drawing some things manually, just so we don't lose that kind of hand-drawn feel of things. So if we press R again, we'll reset the view, command on zero or command on one, just to view this at 100% come to our layers and turn off that background layer and you can see we're starting to build up some nice 
lines in our sketch there that look a little bit less than perfect and we've got some little shadows of lines there from where we moved our paths around so this is a nice way of getting that nice kind of more refined sketchy look to some of your drawings if that's something you're interested in developing hopefully this is useful some quick tips there for drawing in photoshop the ones that i really like definitely with the brush tool being able to use the square brackets to increase and decrease our brush size super quickly allows us to kind of draw these lines get that nice sketchy look also being able to go from 100 percent opacity so zero so we get hard line to say 20 percent opacity where we can really you know kind of build up that line that texture and then also using the eraser in the same way where we can then say have a 30 percent opacity on our eraser erase bits of this gradually and we can get some nice texture on our lines there by by doing that and then we can obviously bring our eraser opacity up if we need to bring it up so again some quick tips there if you have any questions about these line tools in photoshop then leave a comment below otherwise i look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial